this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it you know this morning I woke up feeling down because I received an early morning whatsapp message to say that a business transaction that I was expecting to materialize fell through and so I was feeling so down and you know just hopeless and said what is this now Lord why Lord so I didn't even have the strength to have a firm devotion. I prayed, but I stepped out of the house and decided to just come around the back. And as I opened the back door, these flowers caught my attention, especially because it's my favorite color, purple. And I was, really? Then where are these flowers blooming in all this trash, these weeds, these insects? And all these adverse situations, we just had some stormy rains from Elsa. And I said, this flower survived. This flower survived. And interestingly, there were more. But it seemed like the maintenance person trampled upon them. But this one is still blooming, still stands. And I said, you know, remember in the word, bloom wherever you are planted. Even in the most adverse situations and conditions you can still flourish you know weeds growing hard places we can too and so when we come upon these adverse situations we have to bloom because wherever flowers bloom so does hope wherever flowers bloom God looms and you know Martin Luther King said God is in all creatures even in the smallest flowers. Looking at these beautiful purple flowers. God is in all creation. He is. So we must know that God cares for the flowers of the field. God cares for all of his creation. Luke 20, 12, 28 says, And if God cares so wonderfully for flowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So right away, just get up and say, Audrey, oh, get up and do what you have to do. Don't allow this to get you down. Because every flower must go through dirt. And like the flowers, we must go through dirt. Our dirt situations. Our adverse situations. Because at the end of the day, after feeling so down, I am now challenged. To continuously focus on being faithful, hopeful, and, and knowing that God will allow me to be fruitful in the waiting. And whatever he's doing, I just have to trust him. And know that we are beautiful like the trees. We are like fragrant cedars from Lebanon. And we shall be like dew to the people. We shall blossom like flowers. We shall be firmly rooted like cedars from Lebanon. And we shall be growing like branches. That's what I heard after looking at these beautiful purple flowers. And so, I just want to assure you and many others who might be feeling hopeless because some transactions that you expected to be fulfilled didn't come through some job that you applied for you didn't get the results you were seeking you didn't get interviewed or hired you know some plans some business plans you were making didn't come through just remember bloom where you are planted look at these beautiful flowers with all the rubble the rubbish the hard dirt the rain that came the other day it is still blooming. It is still flourishing. So if it is God's will to replant us somewhere else at some point, whether now or later, then let us follow God wherever he leads by his grace and mercy and unconditional love for us. Whether God chooses to transplant us from a hard place or not, we must keep shining for God. Be light in the darkness salt of the earth bloom in the desert places and keep trusting god blessed is the man who trusts in the lord whose trust is the lord 
is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when it comes. Look, for its leaves remain green and it's not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. Jeremiah 17, 78. So we shall bear fruit. Keep hopeful, keep prayerful, keep watchful. And just keep on doing what you need to do because faith without works is deadly. So as I said, bloom wherever you are planted. God knows what he's doing. Be blessed. Be blessed.